I didn't think Ryan, based off of his performance in 2017, had a very good chance of making the 35-man roster in 2018. My name is Ryan Erickson. I went to Lumberton High School. I didn't really pitch much in high school. I hated pitching. I used to resent it. I came here as a shortstop and that didn't really work out and so they put me in center field. He wasn't very fast so I didn't know how his outfield career would go. It's kind of like why I moved to pitching because I knew I could throw strikes. Coach Davis said that my spot was going to be iffy. I had like less room to make mistakes. Took that to heart going into uh, center ball in Kansas. I definitely wanted to find my place in the game that I love. Really when he got under Coach Snedeker's tutelage is when it really started to take off. He definitely gives me a different mindset on pitching, mechanic-wise, and even being a good teammate. Despite what I had heard about him being a position player and being a converted pitcher, I wanted to just see for myself what he looked like. My biggest goal is that by the end of the year, the guys that are pitching for us are guys that have earned it. I remember probably a couple weeks into the fall, I came back into the office after a bullpen. I was like, Ryan Erickson looks really good. There was no doubt he was improved, but it was one of those things like I really had to see in real game action to believe. When he first came out opening weekend against Texas Southern, he struck out five in two innings that he pitched. So it was like, wow, okay, this might be the real deal. Based on his innings pitch, his strikeout totals were exceptional. He was second in the country in leadoff hitters retired. You could only dream that he would be one of the best pitchers in the nation in several statistical categories. I just was like, we got to make sure this guy pitches until he shows us otherwise. It'd be surprising for any pitcher to be that good, but the fact that he was a converted outfielder is as remarkable as it gets. To see guys reach the level at which they want to perform, that's the joy of coaching. Last year he was sort of an unknown. This year now there's expectations. I'm working on a new pitch right now. Last year was just strictly slider curveball, but we got to mix in something different because they're going to be expecting that this whole season. One thing that's great that he has as a leader is that he really, really wants to win. It always is helpful that you've got guys in the clubhouse that are echoing your voice, and he's one of those guys. Brian Erickson could have graduated in the fall and then a graduate transfer, and with his numbers, he could have gone anywhere he wanted, but he stuck with us. And I think that's pretty remarkable, and it speaks a lot about what kind of leader he is. My name is Ryan Erickson, and I'm not a backup outfielder anymore. He comes right at you with his best stuff. Hit it if you can.